so I'm off to town with the grandparents. Why have you got two pairs of glasses? Hey, isn't it? So yeah, we came to get some weed killer stuff and uh, yeah, but he's just looking at tools and stuff now. So it's good having them back from the holidays because my granddad's quite a lot of fun and uh, my grandma looks after me pretty well, so uh, yeah. It's good, good to have them back. Hello, 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 hello. I got them and Mr. Freeze. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so I'm getting all of my camera gear ready and my tripod and everything because me and Aaron are going to check out an abandoned railway station and hopefully if we can find it, an abandoned mine. So that is going to be awesome. So me and Aaron are looking for this train station. We can't actually find the area, but we know it's around here somewhere. There's lots of nettles, ow. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So we found the bridge or the viaduct, which the tracks used to go over, but we can't get onto it. So yeah, those tracks go along here, and this is what used to be the railway track. But from looking at the map and what we've discovered is we think that the old actual station is now either a house or a gas facility. So unfortunately, the station no longer exists by the looks of it. Um, so, I guess we're just gonna start this trek back and head to the mine. It's starting to rain quite a bit as well, but it's all part of the fun. This is what we think the actual station has turned into. It's now like a gas facility where they keep gas bottles and stuff like that. But yeah, it's just all fenced up now by this big fence. And this little unsafe looking drawbridge type thing to get over here. And oh, a little dead bird. Don't know how it died, but rest in peace. <laughs> We've found it, it's just up there. So I'm inside this little opening. I've had to walk through the water. My feet are pretty wet. Aaron's still out there, he's keeping dry. Look at, lucky him. Um, so yeah, I've came through here and found this little gated door thing, but it's locked. So can't really go in there, but it does look pretty cool. found this awesome circular area. I'm not sure what this would have been. It looks like it would probably have been like either an entrance to the mine or something that they would use to lift all of the stuff up. Here's Aaron coming back down. He went right up to the top. I'm not going up there after a rock just fell on him. I don't really want to risk that. So far down. If I fell down there, I am dead. Going to places like this is always cool because it's, it's something that, you know, you have to find it. Um, you have to find out about it. And uh, yeah, to come to places like this, it's pretty interesting. And although we're based in the Lake District, we're not limited to the Lake District. I can drive, um, so and I don't mind driving a long way. So if you do know anywhere that's abandoned, um, let us know because we would be interested in hearing about it and possibly even visiting it as well.
So Aaron is up there, as you can see. That's where I need to be. Except I have this river that's quite deep and it's very rocky and slippy. This should be fun. I'm trying to find a way across that isn't as deep. So this isn't good. I've reached the end of the grass. That means I have to cross here, which is probably the worst bit. Wonderful. I know it doesn't look it on here, but it's so deep. I've got my phone. I've got the GoPro, which isn't waterproof at the minute. Damn it. Finally made it. I was down there and now I'm up here, baby. Woo! Even got a nice little souvenir. So we're done at the mine. We're now heading back down towards the car. And uh, sorry about the rain on the camera. Let's wipe that off. But yeah, it's starting to rain quite heavily now. So I've been talking with Aaron and um, just discussing this whole YouTube thing. And I think I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. I'm just having a look at some of my most successful videos. And one of the most successful videos is why school sucks. And that's a sit down and talk video. So what I th what I said to Aaron, what I, I could change things up a little bit. I'm just mute that. I, I could change things up a little bit and do one weekend vlog. So I film from Friday to Sunday night and upload that on the Monday night. So that's that's one video there. Then do a talk video on the Wednesday night. So similar to the school story, but it could be stories about other things. There's a lot of things that have happened in my life. Lots of things I could talk about. Um, so I would upload that on the Wednesday night. There would be no video on Tuesday, and then that talk video on the Wednesday. Then on Friday night, I would upload a Monday to Friday vlog. So I would film Monday to Friday, all the best bits, and put it into one video on Friday night. That way, you're not bombarded with the same repetitive things. Because I know, I can understand that my vlogs will get repetitive. I don't do a mixture of different things every single day. So a lot of the things are pretty similar. That way, if I do it like this, you get all of the best bits, which will be different every single week, in three videos. And I think that's the way I'm going to do it. At least trial it for the next couple of weeks, and we'll see how that goes. Let me know in the comments below what you think of that idea.